in university days uh, sure are exciting times for students. There's the friends, new experiences, and of course a sense of adventure. And something else, stress. Mm -hmm. In fact, one thing stresses students the most. CTV's Janice Golding has the answer and tells us how schools are helping students cope. It's exam time for summer students at U of T. I'm feeling relaxed. I'm ready for this exam. But what they're most stressed about might surprise you. Financial is absolutely money. The, the tuition tuition fees. It's just basic living expenses is through the roof and on top of your tuition fees, your books and your groceries. Like we're pharmacy students, like our tuition is around 20 grand per year. Academics are what these students are here for, but what many thoughts are consumed by is student debt. So they're gonna be graduating with $25,000 in debt. That's a big hole to start your life. Credit counselor Eric Spence says more than half of all students face huge debts, so he has these tips. Start working and saving in high school, have a part-time job, avoid credit cards, stick to a budget, and always make the cheaper choice. Going to the movies, go on a Tuesday when it's cheaper. When you're buying groceries, buy the generic brand. These little things, uh, they're going to add up to a lot of savings in the end. One of the biggest expenses, of course, is housing. So if you can live at home, by all means, do. And if you have to leave home, don't go out alone. Share and reduce expenses by having roommates. You can do a roommate match. Beyond that, Janine Dobbs, U of T's Executive Director of Health and Wellness, says most universities have a ton of resources, from housing to emotional and academic support. The Academic Success Center is a place where students can come and meet with learning strategists to help develop better study skills. The uh, university offers counseling, workshops on everything from exam prep to note-taking, and as for finances... There is financial aid available. We uh, don't discriminate based on marks or full-time, part-time. So being a body and being beautiful. So while these students are studying for their degrees, it also pays to learn how to reduce their financial burdens. Lots of students don't know that these services are available. Janice Golding, CTV News.